A fast-moving storm dumped a lot of rain in a short amount of time on parts of our area. It was like a river. Straight, it came straight to the back. The storm left streets, homes, and backyards a flooded mess. And tonight, we're keeping an eye on more rain moving toward the metro area. Now, Doug Hill's going to have a check of tonight's forecast here for you in just a minute. But first, Prince George's County. Let's go there because they felt the brunt of this morning storm big time. Yes, they did. The rain came down fast. It didn't stick around very long, but it was long enough to leave drivers and some homeowners dealing with some serious problems. That's right. Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell is live in Berwyn Heights tonight to show us the worst of the flooding. Brad, what a scene out there. Oh, this was a wild weather event, and this is where it really hit the hardest. This is 59th Avenue in Berwyn Heights, and you can see it's really down at the bottom of the neighborhood, so everything drained here. Most of the water is gone now, but you can see this mulch that washed up when the torrent came through. These houses here, they sit below the level of the road surface, and they were flooded really to about waist deep. So you can see now all these restoration services are out here trying to put these people back in their homes. The rain came so hard, so heavy, so fast that storm drains couldn't keep up. I'm 62 and I've never seen the water come this way. Charles Fuller says it was only raining for about 15 minutes before the nightmare started at his house in Riverdale Park. And the next thing I know, my back door downstairs, I went to check and it was filled up completely with water. Then the deluge filled Kenilworth Avenue with brown water. Several cars flooded out. The drivers led to safety by firefighters. John Abe pulled off just in time. I was trapped. So. Scary. Very, very scary. I've never seen this before. And look at this mess on Paint Branch Parkway. Two vehicles trapped under the railroad tracks. One, a big military truck belonging to the University of Maryland Police. Even a Humvee is not immune to flooded roadways. Experts say this was the definition of a flash flood. More than two dozen drivers stranded in high water in a matter of 30 minutes. Some aren't even to blame as the waters rose around them in traffic. And then there is the damage done to homes. All over here was flooded and then it started rushing down. Peter Uwandi's family home in Berwyn Heights is one of a couple dozen flooded by the rain. Once the water on his street got deeper than the curb, it poured down his drive across his lawn and into his brother's room in the basement. Everything is gone. The TV, bed, couches, clothes, shoes, everything. Everything and he's not alone. Looking down the block behind me here, you can see all of that furniture that's been set out in the front yard, hopefully to dry, but obviously some of it is going to have to be thrown away. And here's the amazing thing we're hearing from the people here. The water came up and went down in a matter of about 30 minutes in Berwyn Heights. Brad Bell, ABC 7 News. Mm, that is amazing, Brad. Thank you. We'll take a look at how the flooding in Prince George's County is also impacting the evening commute. One of our editors shot this video of the high water still around. This is in parts of Chevrolet late this afternoon. This was the scene on Route 50 westbound near Kenilworth Avenue. Drivers, as you can see here, cautiously trying to travel through all this. You know, that's just jaw dropping when you think, okay, let's say we're told it's going to be about a 30% chance of rain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You get all of that.